RuneScape Chronicles Limited Edition boss desk mats for sale at rschronicles.com. Check out the collection today. Lemoy may have the scariest account to play on in all of RuneScape. Meet McSkittles95, his high-risk hardcore Iron Man, locked strictly to PvP worlds originally, with the goal to obtain every single wilderness unique. Well, he has already done that, so he decided to up the ante with Old School RuneScape's hardest challenge, going for the Zug Helmet. Some of these tasks are really, really hard. So hard, in fact, there is only one hardcore grandmaster in the game. Well, there would be if he could get his way coat hides. Some of the tasks on the combat achievement list are team speed tasks, like Tomb Speedrunner 3, which requires you to complete an eight man Tombs of a Masket in less than 18 minutes. This means eight people, all with billions in gear on a PvP world, have to be together in the same place. Imagine what a PKer would be thinking to themselves if they stumbled upon that. There is a lot on the line here. The player who successfully kills McSkittles95 will receive 3.2 billion GP, plus all the gear on him, which if he's trying to stay alive, will be some serious risk. With this huge bounty on his head, players have been on the hunt to kill McSkittles, including some familiar faces. We see names like West Ham, Sea Engineer, and Pip to hunt down and kill McSkittles. Good luck to these guys and anybody else that wants to go after Lemoy. A new Winter Todd record has been broken. The most points ever achieved in a singular game is now held by Tazar OSRS, who racked up 100,000 points and over 1.3 million XP in a singular Winter Todd game, which wasn't possible before the recent changes because you were capped at how many points you could get. Well, with this method, it would only take 10 Winter Todd games to get from 50 to 99 fire making. Crazy. However, it did take Tazar a lot of attempts to try to pull this off because anybody can come into his world and finish the Winter Todd game. So he attempted this many times to try to get that five hour uninterrupted Winter Todd game. He also stored up a thousand Winter Todd loot rewards, which he made a video about afterwards. You can check out that video and more on his channel because as with all our featured creators, their links are down linked in the description below. Let's check in on the Rizzlers who are geared up, ready to take on the Dagonoth Kings. Not go in the middle. Quick, 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 go, go, go. Hey, I'm getting attacked, I'm scared. Free range, free range, free range. Free range, free range, free range. Dude, I, I know Relic may actually want a Dragonite, so like 65 wood kind. It wouldn't go hard. I Dragonite's be nice. Right. Slayer. Oh, oh, yes. oh we got one. Nice, got it's it. It's worth it, dude. it's been worth Jeez. it. What if Oda messaged you now saying, come join my HM group with him and Bodhi, what would you do? Um. Well, I had to lose all five lives first, right? So like Barrows is today, so I could just disconnect a few times, you know? Surely the group wouldn't notice. You know, like it's fine. Like, listen bro, I got bigger and better things to do, you know? Let's see what Sick Nerd is up to. Like, I, I don't like not having enough seeds and like picking, nah, I got one already. That's crazy. I've got no telly. I might have died when I ran through it, bro. I'll be honest. Nah, it's fine, bro. Don't worry about it. Oh, that's a chance of the century. Okay. Wow. Oh my god, I got it. Oh my god, I got it. Oh my god, I got it. I guess he found where Waycoat was hiding. You get it? Because it's Waycoat hide. And with those hides, he was able to reobtain his Grandmaster combat achievements on the Hardcore Iron Man. Domas is back, opening some elite clues, trying to complete the collection log. God. <sighs> double roll. No, it's, uh, you get 30 of, uh, through elite. It's not a double. Double would be 60. Oh, opening again. What? Okay. It wasn't double before, but it seems to be double now. First KC of the prediction. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. Guys, we got it. We got it. We got it. Oh my god. Holy. Oh He's on his chunk locked account and he needed that. He uploads a series to YouTube showing off his unique account and its progress, so go check it out in the description below. Babylon has been at Leviathan for over 9,000 kills looking for one thing.
And that wasn't it. That's his 12th Virtus piece. He still doesn't have the pet, and he's over triple the drop rate. Ouch. It seems there's a gorilla on the loose in the gnome stronghold, according to user IZ Boast. Well, fear no more because commenters were quick to come to the rescue. Like Deadyen, who is a trained gorilla handler, who instructs him to give the world he's on and drop an amulet of torture to lure it away. I'm starting to think Dead Yen is not actually a gorilla handler. Not Shabazz has a genius idea. If he was going to go for the General Grador pet, he would get his girlfriend into RuneScape to tank for him. And he did just that. However, he did let her keep all the drops. She ended up with a 350 mil cash stack, and he got a cool RuneScape pet. And also he gets to play RuneScape with his girlfriend, so I'd say that's a win. From community submissions, Prog Fable is killing some demonic gorillas on his regular Iron Man when he notices something in the chat. Uh -huh. And he got those at just 38 hard clues. That is lucky. Longku is attempting to complete Demon Slayer on his 10 hit points pure hardcore Iron Man. Did he catch that? He places the cannon piece and then gets pathed out of the instance automatically. Fortunately, he's able to get it back from Nelodian. Izuma Crypt has been at Temporos for a while, while they just finished their 8,000th reward permit and decided to loot it on stream. There it is! There it is! <laughs> I caught it! He gets the pet. And here's the loot tracker that he provided, the collection log as well. He came out on top with two pets, actually. Congrats. Illusionary gets an unexpected reward. Oh, they didn't want it. Okay, well. Congrats to Rupert Kurd who got the dragon pickaxe in one RDO KC, Arden Solace for their one KC Void Waker blade, and Slurp who was trying out Theater of Blood on his med level Iron Man when he pulls the scythe on his first ever kill count. That is so lucky. Elite Pharaoh was trying out the Tombs of a Masket when he has a funny feeling like he's being followed at just one kill count. Congrats, treat your new friend well. And if you want to share a chapter of your RuneScape story, get a chance of getting it featured by posting in the submissions channel of the Discord, linked in the description below. Tell for one is teaching some Tombs of a Masket. Okay, right, left, middle. So right here, right, go left now, stick left, stick left, stick left, stick left, Emily, left! Middle, 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 oh middle! God, right here, right. Emily, come right, come right, come right! Pop a, pop a potion, pop a potion! The white one! The white one, Emily, the white one! Middle, 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 middle Emily! Right, 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 move right, move right, you're good. Left, left now. Middle. <laughs> right. Bro is going the opposite direction of my callouts. <laughs> left. Right, left, middle. Right, left, middle. Right, left, middle. Right, 